Rabotai, in the next week, we're going to start Sfirat HaOmer. During Sfirat HaOmer, we're not allowed to shave and not allowed to get a haircut. That's the custom, that's the minhag that the Jewish people follow because in commemoration of Avilut, uh, symbols of the, the death of the, children, of the students of Rabbi Akiva. So during the Omer, we're not shaving, and during the Omer, we are not getting haircuts. Therefore, tomorrow is going to be Erev Pesach. By Erev Pesach, Halakha says, after 1 p.m., you cannot get haircuts and you cannot get shaving. So therefore, by the barbers, they, they therefore make sure to get your haircuts done today or tomorrow, not past 1 p.m. Make sure to schedule yourself by the barber, not to have a problem because afterwards, you're gonna have 34 days that you cannot shave and you cannot get a haircut. So therefore, make sure you're making the haircut appointment today, making a, to, making to, sure not to make any mistake. To Mr. Yaakov. To all the barbers. So now, Rabotai, another important thing, the Mekubalim, Kabbalah, telling us very interesting thing. The Omer is going to start this year, Motza'e Shabbat. After Shabbat, we're going to finish Arvid. After Arvid, is going to start the first day of Sfirat HaOmer. The Kubalim says like this, Sgula Vesod Gadol. There is a big Sgula, says Mole Yaakov, and a big secret he writes here. Belayla Harishon Shel Sfirat HaOmer, from the first day of Omer, you make sure from the first day and on, every night when you're counting the Omer, to have a bag of salt in your hands whenever you count the Omer. You see this? That's bag of salt. It's salt. It's not something else. Don't uh, suspect me. From Dead Sea? That's it, huh? From Dead Sea? Doesn't matter. Dead Sea or Live Sea. As long as it's salt. You take the salt, whenever you set the Beracha of Sfirat Omer, you're holding it in your hands. It says over here like this. Vikra alav mizmorim. And you're supposed to read the chapters of Tehillim after you finish the, the count of the Omer. 122, 131, and 133. <coughs> Those are the three chapters that says, says over here, the Sgula. You hold it and you say, and afterwards you read the chapter in the book of Vaikra. Chapter 23, Pasuk 9 till 22. Pasuk 9 till 22. After you count the Omer with this. Going with this salt. All seven weeks of Omer. Holding it in your hand. Saying the Bracha. Says over here, this says Segula. To be protected from any pandemic. And from any Ainara. Rabotai, the Bukharian people are afraid from Ainara more than they are afraid than, than their mother-in-law. The Ainara, Habibi, is something unbelievable. The Gemara tells us that there is a hundred people that buried in the cemetery. Ninety-nine of them died because of Ainara, the bad guy. This is the Gemara. It's not something that came from the Arabs. This is our, our sources. Ainara has such a bad power when a person puts eyes on your business, puts eyes on your success. It's something can destroy, 100% destroy. Unless. How can we be protected, says the Mekubalim, Kabbalah Gavarit. How can we be protected from the Ainara when you're counting the Omer all seven weeks, holding the bag of salt? This salt, it's an amulet for people, it's a Sgula, Kamea. So you people go to, Kabbal to Mekubalim, pay $5,000, $10,000 to get something from them to be protected from Ainara. Rabbi, says over here, Arizal, Yav Chikak salt. You take a little bit of the salt over here, the Mekubalim say, Amen. 49 days every day you count the Omer without missing one day. This is going to be carried on you. You see, I carry it with me all the time. Put it in the pocket like this to be protected from Ainara. And this you can give part of it to your family, to your wife, to your babula, to your jidura. Like this, they will be carrying it with them. This is a big segula, Rabotai. It says over here, Sot Gadol. Gadol has not to? Big one. Big one. Be protected from Ainara. But the, but the problem is that this year, the first count of Omer will be on Sfira at, uh, right after Shabbat. So if people are going to bring this bag with them on Shabbat and use it after Shabbat, what are they doing, Yaakov? They're preparing from Shabbat to... After Shabbat, you cannot prepare from Shabbat to after Shabbat. What should I do? Oh, uh, you make sure tomorrow, Friday, whenever you come with you to the Kaneso, bring with you that bag, and this we put it in a locker, put it in the place that it's a safe place. Post the Shabbat, right away you're going to go to your locker, hold the salt, and going to say the Beracha Asher Kiddeshan, Wem Sotav Tzivanu, Al Sefirat HaOmer, 49 days Rabotai. Don't forget, I'll tell you when is the most problematic time that people forget. To count Omer, Friday night. 
every Friday night, people have every year, the problem of missing on the Omer is Friday night. What's the reason? Because Friday night, the Kaneso many times finishes early. People say, we'll count Omer at home. And they go home, as soon as they saw the table, Habibi, forget about Omer, forget about everything else. He's sitting right now, his mind is in the food. His mind is in Shabbat. He forgot about the Omer. Kajde ras, chalai kurhodit, rabai afchira zabil, I forgot yesterday the omer, what should I do now? Wow, I missed, that's it, I missed. Habibi, every Friday, I put myself alarm, I take my phone, I put myself alarm like on Friday, every, repeat, you know, the alarm has an option to repeat. Repeat every Friday, put it under your sofa, whatever it is, in the middle of your meal, it's going to ring. Ta 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 ta, with my vibration, like this, you're going to remember, or do after other reminders for yourself, not to forget counting the omer on Fridays. Because Fridays is the most crucial time that people miss the Omer. And like this Chas Shalom, they can miss this Gula, they can miss be protected from Ayn Ara, and they can miss the mitzvah of counting the Omer, the biggest thing. So therefore, Rabotai, make sure you bring yourself tomorrow to the synagogue, the bag of salt, put it in your lockers, after Shabbat, you're going to take it and start counting the Omer, holding it in very strong power to be protected from any plagues, from any pandemics, and from any Ayn Ara. Bezat Hashem, Amen. Amen. should be always blessed.